Green Zero here, and welcome back to the Liquid Crystal Fairy Pseudomala type run. So, last time I completed the game's third act, I beat Silver and Team Rocket once and for all, while Axel played the part of every classmate in every group project ever back when I was in school, and did nothing but take credit for my work. So, now it's time to begin the game's final act, the Orange Islands. So, yeah, we just got a call from Professor Oak, who's got something for us, but first things first, I'm gonna go grab Pluto and, uh, well, once I've done that, I'm gonna cut ahead. Before we go talk to Professor Oak, if you'll recall in the last episode, Axel said he'll have something for us here. So, uh, let's go talk to him real quick. Okay. What up? Okay, so now I'm an official member of Secret HQ. Or whatever this is. Yeah, by the way, that particular content was never finished, so uh, that's irrelevant. But we'll need that because uh, the HQ badge is how we're going to get back from the Orange Islands. Otherwise, if I recall correctly from my last playthroughs, you can softlock yourself. So come here first and talk to Axel before you go talk to Professor Oak. Alright, what do you want, old man? Ah, Professor Ivy. Yeah, this is basically the uh, the plot of well, the first filler arc of the anime poured into the into the hack, or at least half of it, because again, this hack was never actually finished. But yeah, he told us to go to Route 100, which we have been to already earlier on, which means we can make this really simple by just flying down there. Okay, so now, <clears throat> go down here, and we take the train. Oh, wait. Never mind. Uh, there's something I forgot. Right, you had to get something else in Vermilion City, but you have to talk to Professor Oak before you can do it. The first thing's first, you gotta go up here. And uh, I think it's is this lady here? Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, now you can take the train. So, yeah. Anyways, heading back to Route 100. Yeah, okay, so now you can take the train. If if the guy tells you that you missed the train, it means you're missing one of the items that you need to go one direction or another. That's why I said you need to get that shit from Axel, because otherwise, you can softlock yourself. And the only way to get out of that situation will be to, uh... Well, oh. Right, never mind. It's this one. The only way to get out of it is, uh, to use wall hacks. To get around that guy, because the train can be used. You hear that? Okay. So, first things first, we actually need to go and get something else out of the PC. But it's not what you think. We actually need an electric type. I'll show you why in a second. Like, bitch, do I need to show you a resume? Alright, so first things first, let's actually use a Max Elixir, because there are wild Pokémon down here. Or, Ma Max Repel. Ah! A little scatterbrain today, guys. And, wouldn't you know it, there's Kyogre! Yeah, it's kind of an asshole to have Kyogre just randomly show up. 
Uh, oh. I know I was gonna force the battle, uh, I forgot about that. So, uh... Yeah, I'm actually gonna create a save state real quick, because I forgot about that bit. Because I want to catch this damn thing. Uh... Oh, Lord Special Defense. Alright, we got 29 Ultra Balls. Oh, but it can heal itself, too. But the good news is, when it's asleep, it'll be a little easier to catch. So, that actually works out in my favor. Come on, you stubborn bastard. Come on. You know, if this takes long enough, I might just cat- I might just cut until I catch the damn thing. Come on. Get in the ball. I'm out of Ultra Balls now. Come on. Come on. Come on! Get in the ball! Get in the fucking ball! Oh, you're out of power point. That sucks. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna cut ahead until I catch this damn thing. Give me a second. There we go, now we caught it. Yeah, I just didn't want that to be the entire fucking video. Just me spamming Pokeballs to catch Kyogre. That'd be pretty boring. Hmm. Called you fish. Okay, so yeah, this is what I need an electric type for. There's plenty of electric types down here you can catch if you don't have one, but, well, if you don't have the balls to catch one, then you're SOL. So, uh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, you have to... There you go. Yep. All a day's work. Just saving the world yet again. <sighs> Even when I'm on vacation, I have to do fucking bitch work. Okay, so now we're here at Valencia Island. Uh, well... And, uh, well, my Pokemon weren't healed. Let's, uh, let's go get, uh, we'll put you here. And we're actually going to go and grab, uh, we're not really going to need a fly yet for a while, so. Now let's get moving. Now, there's a bunch of trainers that are around here that we could face. 
and they're, they're pretty decent level-wise. But, uh, well, yeah. It, for now, they're in the 50s, but towards the end of this hack, they get towards the 90s. There's quite a, a steep level curve for this last section of the game. Oh, what? Derp. That, it's a normal type, dude. Man, what the hell is wrong with me today? Oh, it was an item. Okay. Uh, great ball. Ultra ball. Okay, you know what? Actually, let's switch over to another Pokemon to so get more experience with it. What did you get this time? Oh, hidden power. Great. The TM that's bugged in this hack, so the move is like 10 base power or something. Maybe that's what the 10 in TM 10 stands for. Okay, so now we are here at this first town. And yeah, the Pokemon Center is in the Sevi Islands, or uh, the Orange Islands uses the uh, Cohen Pokemon Center music. And this guy, you can buy a bunch of items from uh, lemonades are very, very cheap, so we're gonna buy a bunch of those. Buy a bunch of Ultra Balls. Alright. So, uh... Yeah. Also, I want to show you this one guy over here. Uh, yeah, he'll say this even if it's raining, just so you know. So now here we are on Route 47. Um, now we can actually go two ways, but one of them we want to do first. It's like, bitch, I'm already way slower than you. Not gonna get a chance here. Nice try. Alright, let's just heal you up real quick. So yeah, we wanna go north first. Man, all these trees get in the way. Actually, you know what? Let's grab this item real quick. For here. Tropic mail. Useless. I mean, who am I gonna trade to? Cool, so do I. Oh, you know what? Just use ancient power. Yeah. Okay. I'm assuming that bit of dialogue is an inside joke of some kind, and you'll find out why in a second. Yeah, did I really need to send in Gardevoir of all things? Not really. Yeah, that's why I think that's an inside joke. I don't get it. Okay, so I'll move on up over here. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I know it. I don't have any special attacks on you, but it'll at least make you be tankier. Not that I really need it at this point. Eh, whatever. I don't know what I was thinking. Again, I'm having a bit of an off day, guys. We may actually want to cast this. Um, I'll explain why later. Not in this episode, but in a later one. So, uh... 
Oh, you. Because that's the sound seals make. Orp, orp, orp. No items? Huh. Okay. I think there would be, but nope, guess not. Yeah, you want to use the item finder as much as you can on these beaches, because there's often hidden items here. Okay. Anything else over here? Nope, not that I can tell. Okay, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, this chick's a trainer. Bet you didn't see that coming. Okay, let's switch real quick. Oh, got an item. What is it? Wormberry. Okay, not very useful. Okay, so a couple things you gotta do here. Not that, but... Uh, no, not you. Here. This guy, right here... But yeah, you get a rare candy from this guy because he beat Brendan. Also, we can't go down there yet. We'll be going there later. And there's Professor Ivy using Lorla Sprite. Well, considering how, uh, let's just say gifted Professor Ivy is, I guess that's kind of appropriate. Oh, actually, I think I don't need those. I have a bunch of lava cookies, don't I? You know, give me some. Okay, so now we've done our little shopping trip. Yeah, there is. I wonder if this guy was planned to be another rival. But yeah, there's a... Well, one have to battle this guy anyway, eventually. But there's something I want from him. Um... I'll explain in a second. Go away. Okay, there it is. Because you see, his Charizard and his Salamence, let's we'll, we'll spoil one of his team members, but yeah. Charizard and Salamence hold choice fans. But yeah. Yeah, see? Choice fans. Oh. Dust clops. So now I have to switch. Nope. Oh, right. Yeah, you have a choice band too. Just go down already. Oh, you actually knocked one of my team out. Not that it did any good. Yep. Anyways, now that we've done that, we can go and check out the other way we could have gone Route 47. Now, we come over here and uh, make our way over to Professor Ivy's lab. You don't have an electric attack? Well, it's probably, never mind, it's probably going to be something like Zap Cannon anyway. That's not the move I meant to use, I meant to hit Belly Drum, whatever. There's an item around here somewhere. 
Ooh, double battle. Don't even think about it. Oh, Shininja. Nice. Nope. Not playing your fuck fuck games. Yeah, I know Grudge means it lost all its power points. There aren't that many more opponents on this route anyway. Okay. The incense. So that's like a mystic water, but it also, uh, you give it to a Meryl. Um, and it lays an egg, it'll hatch into an Azuril. It's one of those baby Pokemon that was added in Gen 3, and where you had to have an item in order to get it. It was kind of obnoxious, honestly. Oh, another item. What do we get? The other one was, uh, why not? You need to give Laxing Sense to a Wobbuffet. Hmm. Well, if you call that meeting, sure. Luxury ball. Okay. Is there anything back here? You think so? Oh! Hmm. Honestly, I didn't know this was back here. That's cool. Oh, and you can't go through there. Because in the lab itself, there's a box blocking the... Half. I just thought, oh, that's a set decoration. Nope! Turns out there's actually an item back there. I didn't know that. Well, two items, actually. So. So, yeah, as I said, this is the filler arc. So, you guess, Paul. Yeah, now we gotta go back to Pallet Town. And for that, well. I guess, uh, I guess we'll skip ahead a bit. Okay, so now we can make our way back to the station. But, oh, what's this? We got a cutscene! Yeah, it's the guys from Mount Silver that were waiting to ambush Red, who, uh, didn't show up when they were supposed to. Well, look who it is! It's Mr. O.C. Donut Steel again! Hmm... Yeah, that's shady. Yeah, I hope you weren't, uh... Expecting that, I uh, hope you were expecting that face turn at the end of the last arc to last, because uh, yeah, it didn't. He just hates my guts that much, and you'll find out just how much shortly. Yeah, this is why you needed to go to the secret HQ first, because if not, you won't be able to take this train, which means you won't be able to go back. Also, yeah, it, never mind. It, it, not shortly that you'll find out how much Zane hates my guts. It's in a later episode you'll find it. It gets pretty bad. Okay. Let's go grab Pooh again. And let's get out of here. Now we gotta talk to Professor Oak.
Yeah, uh, four gym leaders and champion if it was finished. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think this is going to wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, next time, I'll I'll go over to Valencia Island again, and we'll pick up from there. Anyways, you like what you see, check out my Rumble page, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.